king. <laughs> Whoa! What's that? That was me getting dressed for today's marathon right there. I took that picture live outside on the beach. Anyway, I never in Street Fighter 4 thought, oh, every every time I play the game, I must only use my main, and it must all be serious business, you know. But I, I hate to say it, that is what people have been kind of programmed to expect. When you look at guys in the FGC who are putting out Street Fighter coverage, what are they doing? Oh, I focused in on Mono and... Uh, Jury, and they're my two mains, and you'll always see me play them, and here's my dominating set of me playing, and I went, you know, 27-2 and two today. Well, good for you. But what about the rest of the game? <laughs> right? They, they, they're all the same. They all do the same thing, because they all want to go, oh, they want to go to fucking Capcom Cup and win the million bucks. I, I don't care about that. Who fucking cares? I care about learning the game at a, at a pace where, you know, it's, it's comfortable for me, it's comfortable for the viewers, and, and putting out that variety of content, you know? I'm different. I really am different. Let's be honest. I'm very different than the, the vast majority of people out there who make content these days. How do I not hear myself in my headset? Because there's no echo. What are you talking about? I'm not... What I'm hearing is not from the PC. I'm hearing the actual audio feed from my console. I do it way differently than most other streamers. Most other streamers have everything go through their PC, and then they actually hear the audio feed from their PC. I don't hear that. I'm hearing directly from my console. So I don't hear my, there's no way I could hear my own voice. My voice is running through my PC, not through my console, see? But uh, most other streamers do it. Everything goes through their PC, and therefore they got a lot of issues with echo of their voice and all kinds of shit going on. I don't have to deal with any of that because I do my setup way differently. He would care if he had a shot. No, I wouldn't. No, 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 no. You have to understand something. I've been in that lifestyle that grind of competitive fighting games. I lived it for a decade, right? Late 90s, all the way through like 2007, 2008. That was my life. It was work, work, work in real life. Whether it was a crappy mall job, Circuit City, Best Buy, or my office job at the helicopter company. Make my money and spend all of that to travel all over the country to play competitive Street Fighter, right? And listen... It was a good time in my life because I was exposed to a lot of different cultures, a lot of different places, a lot of different things in life that normally I wouldn't have had that exposure if I just sat at home. I was glad that I traveled as much as I did. At the same time, you know, I that lifestyle is such a grind. You have to understand. That is the lifestyle for a single person, all right, who literally has nothing better to do than fly all the time, sit around in a ballroom, practice a, a fucking game constantly. That's not a lifestyle for someone who has a meaningful life and a family. I'm just being honest. And I know that there are competitive fighting game players out there who have families and shit. I have no clue how they do it. I really have no idea because it's, it's so time consuming and you have to be away from home so much to be good. I'm serious. You have to be traveling constantly. I mean, I can't imagine having a kid and half the year I'm gone because I'm fucking, you know, playing street fighter somewhere. That's nuts. <clears throat> you know, I don't like taking time off. Taking time off is bad for me. That's It's too much. I would say if you're young, if you're in your 20s, that's the prime time to do it. If you're in your 20s, you got nothing else going on, and you can freedom to travel wherever you want to go, to go to every tournament or whatever, that's fine. But some of these people, it's like, dude, I don't know how the hell they're, they're, they're possibly pulling this off, having a real... It's, it's such a grind. It's so boring. I mean it, too. This is my opinion. Other people will disagree with me. It is a boring ass lifestyle. Boy, these are, I'm gonna be honest, this is boring, dude. <laughs> and he's emotionless, he's boring. I'm going to Las Vegas to play Street Fighter. And I have to sit in a fucking hotel ballroom for 10 hours today because my pool's being played. And there's an hour between each of my fucking matches. And I'm so tired and bored, and it's fucking crowded and sweaty and disgusting. And you know, is that what you wanna do when you flew to Las Vegas? You flew to fucking Las Vegas, one of the vacation capitals of the world, and you're sitting in a hotel ballroom with a bunch of sweaty gamers ready to play four matches over the course of a 12-hour waiting period. Wow, that sounds like a meaningful use of your time in life, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It's terrible. You're eating shitty-ass food, and, you know, it's not a good life. Been there, right? Been there, done that, don't want to do it again. I don't care if there's a million dollars on the fucking line. No, I don't want to sacrifice a year of my life, you know, to go do that and get back into that lifestyle mentality. That's, it's, it's, 
It's not for me. It very well may be for some people. And again, I have a family. I love spending time with my wife and my cat and being at home and having that time. To sacrifice that, to start traveling the world just for a chance to win a major tournament and win big money, it's not worth it. Huh? It's not. I'd much rather be at home and have be a... You know the quote from Guile? Go home and be a family man when you get beat by him? Yeah. I would actually rather stay home and be a family man than go out and be a competitive Street Fighter player. I really would. I feel like it's just a better life to, to have a meaningful life at home than to be going out there and going crazy trying to fucking try hard win for this thing that like someone who... It's, it's going to end up being... It's, who's going to win that million dollar prize? Someone who has literally no time commitments. All they have to do is play Street Fighter constantly. Unlimited funds somehow invested so they could travel everywhere. They play constantly. You know what I mean? That's who's going to win it. It's not going to be, oh, the Cinderella story of some fucking person no one ever heard of comes and wins Capcom Cup and wins a million dollar prize. It's going to be a, 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 a result of a system set up to let them succeed. And normal people with lives can't do that. You get it? So why the hell do I care about that? I would, Even if I had a chance... Even if I had a chance of winning that million dollars, I wouldn't want to do it. I don't want to sacrifice everything that I have here to fucking become a pro Street Fighter player. That's nuts. For a good chat. I definitely am not going to do pro. Plip Plop says pro players are now sponsored. They make more money and spend less on expenses. Yeah, but, but you notice what I just said. Did you notice in everything that I just criticized about the pro player lifestyle, not once did I mention money. Back when I was a pro player, it was very different. There was no money to be had. Even if you won Evo, you won like 500 bucks. I'm serious. Most of it was like 1,000 bucks. There was no money in it. Today, there's money in it. The difference I'm saying is time. The time investment. If you're young and you're single and you want to go into that pro lifestyle, go for it. But these people who are there, oh, I'm like 40 years old and I have a family and two kids, but I'm going to fucking go out and win Capcom Cup this year. What? And I'm like, what the fuck? Are you fucking serious? And the funny part is, too, for a million dollars, that's not even life-changing money for an average family in America anymore. It's not. It's really not. That You know, that'll carry a few years, but if you have kids and shit, that's not even enough. A, a dollar helps. I'm not kidding you. It really does. So what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I missed my kid's birthday party. I missed their graduation. You know, I missed my, 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 my one of my child's first steps and my other kid's, you know, Sweet 16 party. But by the way, I got third place at Capcom Cup. Good for you. <laughs> like, seriously. <clears throat> this is funny. Someone says, nearly 70% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. They can't afford a $400 emergency. How is a million dollars not life-changing? Because you can't win a million-dollar prize at Capcom Cup if that's your situation. This is what I'm telling you. The Cinderella story is not real. No one who is living paycheck to paycheck and can't afford a $400 emergency can travel the country to get good enough at Street Fighter VI to win the million dollar prize at Capcom Cup. It's only someone who already has the lifestyle where they can afford that that will win the prize. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's the point I'm making. <laughs> the million dollars in, in perspective of the lifestyle you need to live to, to win Capcom Cup is not a lot of money. There you go. my own self and, and making popular videos for YouTube. I didn't give a shit about Capcom caring or contacting me or giving me early copies or inviting me to their special fucking inviting to, you know, while Justin Wong and all those players were getting you know, fucking uh, Gutex and fucking Mike Ross were all getting invited to their special press events and playing the games early. I didn't give a fuck about that. I was never, again, I was never part of the in crowd <clears throat> in the Street Fighter community ever. <clears throat> they never allowed me and they didn't care about me because I was the outsider.